What's up guys, you got Dom here and I'm gonna be bringing you an NU Live and uh, I built a little team just real quick, uh, real quick. Uh, Choice Scarf Trick, Rotom with Willowis, Hex, Volt Switch, uh, the same Belly Drum, Polyrath that I used in my UU Live from earlier. Um, I just thought about how well that would work in NU because a lot of people wouldn't be uh, ready for it. Um, you got Garbodor, uh, Lure for Vivian, it's got safety goggles with Rock Blast, so uh, I would bait the Sleep Powder coming on and then Rock Blast away. Um, Scyther is just going to be a choice ban, U-turn, air release, quick attack, knockoff. Um, sand slash, I got Pasha Bay, sand slash, just so uh, any water types that want to scald me or whatever to stop me from being able to spin, as well as get up rocks. Uh, so it's actually come in a lot of handy so far, just with the testing I've done so far. And then I've got Trish Scarf Servine. So the team is, uh, I don't know, it's not passive, but it's not super like offensive, but... Uh, it's actually been doing okay. I'm, I don't even think I'm in the 1200s yet. Uh, I'm pretty low ladder in NU, um, but I just decided I'm going to start at the low ladder because I don't care, to be honest. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and grab a battle. There's not really a lot of people that are playing NU right now, though. So I was going to say it might take us a while to find one, but we actually got one fairly quickly. Um, I'm trying to think what his best lead would be. I know first, like right off the bat, I see he doesn't have any hazard removal. So what I want to do is lead Garbodor and just start getting up spikes. C leads nine tails. Um, I'm gonna get up one spike. So just for confuse ray, we do get that spike up, and then I'm gonna go for rock blast. That should do a decent amount to nine tails actually. To get hurt in confusion, I'll just rock blast again. I'm not gonna want to take this. Uh, Fire Blast by any means whatsoever, but I'll at least get damage off on Ninetales because Ninetales is actually a threat to my team. So he goes Executor. So I get the Confusion ended and I go for Rock Blast and I get a yeah, decent amount of damage. So I get uh, four hits and then Poison's gonna make him out. Uh, so Um, I think I can just gunk shot here because I am a spit death garbador. I should be able to take a psychic I believe Although do I want to risk that? Um, I don't really have a switch into this. I'm just gonna gunk shot anyway So we live the side shock and we hit the gunk shot so executor is gone and we get to keep that spike up And start the timer on this man And you I would say is the tier that I have oh, sorry, um, the least experience in I guess it's the one I've played the least amount of times, besides Ubers. Um, so he's poison. Um, he's not intimidate, so he's most likely he's scrappy. Um, so again, I'm not really in the best spot, but I can just act this. I don't really have a reason to keep it up. I'm just gonna get up another toxic spike in case. Uh, I don't know what he did. But he had no reason not to do anything besides that. So he's banded, um, most likely, or scarf. He's retaliate. So. What I'm gonna do here is go ahead and get up my rocks with sand slash. Actually, I think I'm just gonna earthquake because rocks don't really benefit me that much. This is for last resort. So he's just retaliate last resort. Interesting. Um, he's scrappy, so I really can't switch uh, Rotoman, unfortunately. And I'll just go for earthquake again. And now what I can do is just go into Rotom. And I'll go for a Volt Switch and take that out. And I guess he'd probably want to go into probably Cling Cling next. So what is my play with Cling Cling is a problem. All right, I think what I have to do is go Scyther. And then when Cling Cling comes out, I'll have to U-turn into Rotom and then try to trick a Scarf onto him. No, he goes nine kills. Um, I don't think Air Release kills it from full. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I'm going to go for a U-turn here. And uh, if he's going for a fire move, it's definitely going to... I'll feel it. I'm going to have to go in a Rotom here. And I am fully spit up, so I was able to take that fairly well. And I'm just going to go for another Volt Switch here. And so I'm going to go into Polyrath. So go for the Confuse Ray, and I'll go into Rotom. Again, he goes for sunny day again, and I can just full switch one more time. At this point, I don't really know why he's wasting turns going for sunny day because it doesn't benefit him really at all. None of his other mods have chlorophyll. Um, actually, what I think I'm going to do here is go into Servine. 
he brings me out clean clang, then I can glare him. If he brings out uh, anything else, really, I can just start spamming Leaf Storm. Ideally, that's my thought process at least. So I'm gonna go ahead and glare this. Sometimes I wish I was easy light like, just because it would uh, give me a little bit easier time maneuvering with this. So I'm gonna shift here, and I'm gonna go into my Rotom here. I might be able to live a gear grind. I'm not positive. He gets paralyzed, so I'll never find out. And what I think I want to do is just hex for damage. That does a lot of damage. See, so shift gears again. I'll hex him, and it's uh, I guess he's Mega Audino, you know, most likely, so I can't trick that. But um, this gives me an option for outspeeding Malamar. Maybe I should run more speed, but I really like this Bedef on this because the way it was able to handle uh, nine tails was really nice. Uh, let's see. So here, I want to say it's safe to just go into Servine. He might flamethrower, fire blast, or something. So he's gonna start calm minding. I'm gonna leaf storm here. If he's got fire move, he's definitely gonna kill me. This is gonna calm mind again, and then I can just leaf storm. So it's still doing quite a bit more damage. Um, we're able to lift that hyper voice, thankfully. And I can go for one more Leaf Storm, and granted, we don't miss, we will be able to take this out. And this should be able to take out Malamar with his uh, wild speed, I'm even if he's scrap. So he's gonna force it there. Servine coming through uh, for 1162, so we're not too high, but we're at, the battles are still pretty competitive. I'm not seeing anything that's really making me get turned off. Um, let's see. I can set up with Polyrath on Gastronon, probably, or Weezing even. So, let's see. I think I'm fairly safe leading the Scyther. I see he leads Charizard. So what I'm gonna do here is U-turn. And I believe the most common set with Charizard is not like a special one. I think it's actually the Acrobatics set, like SD Acrobatics. So I'm gonna U-turn here and go into Garbodor. Set up a sub. That's actually fine with me because ideally he sword stance or something here, and then I hit the rock blast, and then uh, if I get three hits, I'll be in good. <coughs> I'll be in good shape. So I don't know if he was expecting that and predicting that or not, but we do have the C bomb on this, so I can go ahead and hit him with that. Garbodor is actually a really good mon, and it's just gonna come through here. Uh, I can just go ahead and C bomb. I might even want to, because C-Bomb I don't think will kill. Yeah, it just did a pretty good amount of damage. He's going to go for Ancient Power. He doesn't get the boost. I'm going to go ahead and get one Toxic back up. He's going to go into Weezing. And let's see. I think I'm pretty safe to just go into Rotom here. Because if he goes for the Lilith, he actually misses, unfortunately. But um, I'm actually going to trick because either he stays in and I get a trick wheezing or he goes in the Gastrodon and that gets tricked. So um, I guess that was more of a sack for him anyway. Only downside to this is now I don't have anything to set up with Polyrath, but I can probably win with, uh, even without that. Um, so I'm just going to go for a Hex here, I guess. Knock Gastrodon out. I actually have two pretty good answers to Gastrodon, so uh, otherwise a lot of teams seem to be weak to Gastrodon just because it's so bulky and the uh, water ground uh, typing. It's pretty good. So he's going to bring out Aurorus. Um, I still feel like my best play here is going to be to Hex this because I don't have a good switch in at all to Aurorus. In fact, my team is incredibly weak to Aurorus. And I believe I will be able to come out on top with this. Because it's not gonna outspeed whatever comes up next. I just get the hex to start. I am spadef, like I said. Um, so I have no reason not to just volt switch here. I see sack zard as I get the volt switch on it and knock that out. 
Um, Aurora's can't outspeed Polyrath, but if he's Scarf, alright, so he's just gonna forfeit. So that's gonna be our first game. We're rising pretty quickly, the team's working pretty nicely, that's what I like to see. Um, we're 10, 12. Let's grab one more battle. Well, we'll probably grab like two or three more battles, depending on how fast we go. I like to build teams where I get to just uh, plow through teams pretty fast. I don't like long drawn out games. So, we've got a very similar team to the last one we just played, actually. Let's see. Leah Park, this is most likely lead. So, I'm going to lead with Scythe there, I think. Leads wheezing. Alright, well, you turn out into. Uh, I guess Sand Slash. Or maybe, yeah, Rotom's probably still a better thing to go out into. So he's gonna taunt. Good play, good play. And I can just fire off the hex here, I guess. So he's gonna go on a Clay Doll. And I'll get some decent damage off on it. He's probably gonna get up his rocks here. Um, so what I can do is go into Polyrath. He does get up his rocks. So substitutes. There's no way he's going directly into the apart here, so I shouldn't have to worry about like being on court or anything. And I can just belly jump here. And I can go for Waterfall. Sorry, Lola got a hold of a squeaky toy. Let's go ahead and start the timer. Claydol is going to go down. So that means we can, whenever we get our rocks up, they can stay up as well as on many hazards we choose to get. Um, I guess this is Scarf, so he will be able to outspeed me, but it's kind of lost its value because it's a one setup mon, or one time setup mon, so that's the only downside to it. This Primeape is going to be able to pick up that kill, and I believe I'm safe to this. Get these hazards away. He gets in the weaving, and I can get up my rocks. I'm not really worried about this thing being um, burnt. It's not meant up to be an offensive mon. It's meant to just be a um, defensive pivot and a hazard removal mon. So I can go ahead and knock off his black sludge at the very least. So we're getting Leopard's gonna come in and what do we knock off? His heat rock. So I guess this was a sunny day team. Hmm. I'm gonna EQ this. It's not gonna do very much because he's got reflect up and um but it's only for one more turn. I don't need the Pasha Berry really, it would have helped to be Lantern, but that's about it. Um and I'm just gonna go for another EQ I think. So here he's gonna probably go into Weezing or Charizard and try to set up on me. Um, if he goes Zard, I can just go into my uh, Garbodor. So yeah, he just forfeits here. It's going to be our second forfeit of the day. Or not of the day of this live. Um, Sword 13, grab another one. Cool team, cool team. I really like Executor. It's a, really, uh, it's a mod that I always... I never really got to use in any of the games I played. I have another team with Specs Executor, which is actually pretty fun to use. So, uh... I'm thinking Scythe is still a safe lead here because in theory I outspeed everything besides his own Scythe. I can U-turn on nine tails, I can air lace him on top. I mean hit him on um Chan, I can I'll probably hard switch out on Lapras fearing the freeze dry or the not freeze dry, the ice shard potentially. Um Executor is gonna die to a U-turn and start the timer on him real quick. And I get a free U-turn. His only real switch into a U-turn, I guess, is, um, I, Haunter is kind of one, but it's very frail, and nine tails. So he goes into Haunter, and I'm gonna go into... Thanks, Lola. I can go Rotom, and probably Volt Switch. 
Um, I think Volt Switching into Sand Slash is still a fine play. Let's see, decide to stay in. I'm just gonna go for a Dazzling Gleam, interesting. And I'm just gonna go for a knockoff here. I should, I am Smith Def, I should be able to live any one move he goes for. And get the knockoff, and he actually lives the knockoff. Oh, he's Evil, like, that's why. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna go into. I wanna go into my own Rotom, but I feel like he's Shadow Ball here. Let me go into... Yeah, he can't touch Garbodor. But on the other hand, what do I need to save this for? I guess Death Fodder. You okay? I'm gonna get up a spike here. Oh, he's got Psychic. Okay, that changes things. Um, I'm wondering if a Leaf Storm will kill him, but I don't think it will. I can still just uh, Volt Switch again here. Um, let's see. I think I'm gonna go back in the Sand Slash just so I can get the jump on. Uh, Momentum because same slash again, no matter what it was in against, wasn't gonna be able to get any hits off at this low health. So after same slash goes down, I'll uh, have momentum and I'll be able to choose what I want to go into based on what he sends out to kill same slash. I'm uh, guessing it'll probably be uh, maybe nine tails. Or possibly even Executor, but that just lets me get uh, a U-turn off and keep momentum up. Well, if I lose, if I kill Executor, then yeah. All right, so he goes Executor, which is actually pretty nice for me. I'm gonna get up rocks in case Leaf Sword misses or whatever move he goes for misses. He'll probably go Giga Drain. That's the most common move on Grass types. He goes for Psychic, and now I'm gonna go into my Scythe there. And I can honestly just start air releasing to be honest. You no, know I'll wait. I'll U turn just in case. I don't want to pull the trigger and then be stuck in a situation where um, Lapras were to come out. Then live too. Because I can't beat Lapras 1v1. I'd have to 2 hit KO it on a switch in or something like that. And I believe I can just go back in a Rotom. So he's caught in the Vortex, the Rotom Scyther Core with Volt Turn. And. Once Scyther goes down and Ninetales gets a little bit more damage, for example, if I have uh, Superior or Servine in on Lapras, then I can go ahead and try to set, start sweeping with that. I'm gonna trick this. Miracle Seed. He's got Dark Pulse. That actually did quite a lot. So he's Scarf Dark Pulse now. Perfect. So I'm gonna set up a sub here. Actually, I'm just going. To, yeah. I'm just gonna go for waterfall. There's no reason to try to set up with this. Actually, there is because Lapras gets water absorbed. I'm pretty sure. Yep, it does get water absorbed. So I'm going to go ahead and brick break because I can't afford him freeze drying me. I would have subbed, but that wouldn't have made sense because if I hadn't gone for a belly drum, then I wouldn't have been able to Oko Lapras and um, Scizor or Pitmonchan would be able to just come in and mock punch me. So I'm actually going to preserve this because it handles Ninetales pretty nicely. And I'm going to go into Scyther here. If he goes for Ice Punch, then that's a good prediction. Thunder Punch. So we're actually not going to live a Bullet Punch. I might have just choked the game away. If he's Pursuit hit Macham, that'd be pretty heat. I don't think that was banded damage. I think he just got a... Oh, he got a crit. Probably gonna have to cut this live short. Uh, well, we're at 19, so it's not really short. But it's about to storm and our power's been going out, so...
and he's gonna take us out with the ice punch so I'm pretty sure we actually lose now unfortunately does he have mock punch he has to that sucks man that sucks a lot hmm I'm just gonna go for a waterfall here uh, I shouldn't have tried to be aggressive in going by going into um Scizor. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure we just lost. Unless he doesn't have like priority on this for whatever reason. Or if we can live in Ice Punch. Uh, yeah. I'm positive he has Bullet Punch or Mouth Punch. He has to. Unless he has Drain Punch. Oh my gosh, he doesn't have priority, so we might be able to pull it back. He is Scarf 9 kills, though, so we're actually not able to. Because we tricked the Scarf onto him, we're not going to be able to win now. That's funny. And I don't think Leaf Storm kills this either, it's quad resisted. And if he's EV light, there's no way it was going to get. Yeah. It's just gonna air least there. And even if we win the speed tight, still scrap nine kills, so we're not gonna be able to pick up the win. So you learn you live and you learn. But I do not want to end it on a loss, so we're gonna grab one more. I had the tools to win that one. Uh, if I had played the late game a little bit better, then I would have been able to come out on top. So this team is looking really fat. I guess this is like NU's version of stall. Um, normally whenever someone says good luck, have fun. I have neither good luck or have fun. So let's hope we can break that trend. I, s I think I can actually just leave Psyche. We're probably leaving Leopard or Rotom. We leave Mishana, so that's a really nice fat user and I get to get off. I could even uh, knock off if I wanted to, but I want to keep up momentum and I can just go and shoot. Um, I guess Garbodor is not safe like at all. So Rotom is probably just the safest play to make and I'm going to go ahead and trick this. Honestly, I'm pretty safe to just go Servine. But what I'm going to do is go Sand Slash because if he Scalds here, the pat will show you guys. But I should be able to outspeed this and go for Get Rocks up at least. And he doesn't have Hazard removal, so that limits what Charizard can do. Sorry about all the speed from you guys. Right side though, that means Rotom can come in and with the Wisp. He, I don't know what coverage you'd get for Rotom. That's the reason Sap Sipper is good in theory, but Scrappy I feel like it's a lot better as I said. He is push with this. I'm still gonna go for Will O Wisp here. <clears throat> this is home Rotom will be burnt. I can go for Hex. That miss on no tanks is gonna really, really suck. Cause that's gonna stop uh, certain from being able to do anything. 
He did reveal that he was stopped for early though, so that's at least I know how to play around it. I think I have to get in on. Um, I don't really know what I can set up belly drum with on Polyrath. Um, I don't know if he has Pursuit or not. Uh, I really like this still. He does have Pursuit. So I guess he's like the Dreadblade set. So I'm going to go into Polyrath here. And I'm going to set up a Substitute. Because ideally he goes into uh, Masharna or something. So he goes into Gastrodon. I'm going to be able to belly drum up. And he's going to earth power. So now the question is, does Brick Break kill? And it does. I don't know if he has fake out on um, Leopard. If he does, that's going to be unfortunate. And I'm just going to waterfall this. So I'm guessing he doesn't have fake out. He probably has he should have sucker punch on um Leopard. Um let's see. I wanna sub on this and play around his uh sucker punches. But nope, he's gonna go for pursuit again. Interesting. He has to have sucker punch. So we're going to take that out, and that means we will be able to pick up the victory, and we're going to finish this on a win. Him not having Fake Out or Sucker Punch uh, definitely hurt him in the end. He could have been Scarf Zard, I guess, but I don't see a lot of Scarf Zard around here, just because it's too easy to find. Uh, like, Polyrath, if you predict the correctly, the fire move can come in on uh, Charizard. Excuse me, as much as you want it to. Um, my Sand Slash or my Garbodor or my Rotom are good switch into the Charizard to where you can't really do much to me. So I'm going to be able to click Brick Break and that's going to be GG. So I think we probably made it in. I know we made it to at least 1200. Let's see where we stopped on the ladder. Yeah, right at 1201. So that's not bad. Um, we did have that unfortunate loss, but we could have prevented that. Um, I feel like this team could easily carry me into the 13, 1400. So I'm going to just leave this account. Uh, not really laddering in you on this account, so uh, next time we come in and record, we'll be able to just keep going from where we stopped. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the in you live. I hope you guys enjoyed the team. If you guys want me to paste in or whatever, uh, let me know and I'll leave it in the comments or in the chat or anything. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Y'all have a great day. Peace.